Good day everybody and welcome to this unboxing, review, and test video of an Iceco Dual Zone 12 volts, 24 volts, 110 volts, 220 volts, whatever you got this thing will run on it. 79 quart portable refrigerator. thick shipping protection here that's good because this thing seemed to have uh, gotten a little abuse on its way up here but not a scratch this thing looks very fancy I like it it's got some rugged feeling plastic some grippy rubbery ice co branded pads right here that's handy for setting your plates your dinner plates or what have you Corner protection, metal sides, actually that feels very durable, I like that. Oh, that is nice. It's got a high quality feeling all around. It's also got these awesome lids that open in either direction, or take them completely off. That is very nice, very handy. Here's your dual zones, you got a freezer, refrigerator. They sent some moisture absorbers to keep things nice and dry for you. Let's see what we got. Probably an accessory box here. A box of accessories. We got a little, oh, there's a little drain plug. Figure out where that goes later. We got, we got a car plug. And a wall plug, so you got your 110 volt option there and your 12 volt option. Replacement corner caps, that is really awesome. It's like a, it's like a sacrificial corner piece there, so if it ever takes a whack, you get a replacement, that is very nice. They even sent the tool for it, as well as a couple replacement screws, that is really nice. Oh wow, they even sent a, a spare handle. That is very awesome. Heavy duty replacement pieces. Perfect option for the back of your truck. Camping, living, going to sports games. I like it, this thing is nice. It's even got lighting on both sides. Here and here, on the ends. Got these handy lift out baskets. I am really excited for this. It is also more efficient to have your fridge in this configuration. That way when you open the doors, the cold air doesn't fall out since cold air is heavier. And warm air, it's going to stay in there and things are going to stay cold a lot better. So this is my new kind of fridge. It's just efficient, big enough to hold everything I need to last for a week or two. And it's just a great design. It now comes in this olive color, which I really like. It's kind of, it kind of reminds me of camo a little bit, but not quite. It's just a... Uh, just a nice color. I like olive. That's nice. Got some information here. Got a cool company logo that is all kind of just feels awesome. I like touching that. Ice Co. Check them out. Got a link below. Got a discount code. And be sure to check out their websites. They have all sorts of options over there. Oh, and there's the plugs down at the bottom. So yeah, it does come with a spare plug. I like that they send the extra parts. It's very thoughtful of Iceco to do that. For this model, I don't know if that's uh, consistent with all their models, but this is a nice unit. Thick, durable, heavy duty, impact corners, heavy duty handles. Those are nice. Makes it easy to strap down. You just run some straps through the handle. Strap it down to whatever you need. This unit weighs 67 pounds and measures 36.5 by 18.5 by 18.1. 67 pounds, that's not too bad. 
at least empty, so. Until you fill it up, that's pretty manageable. Move it around, get that where you need it. Got your control panel, DC input. There's actually one on both sides for convenience. So if you put this in the back of your SUV, you have an option on either side to plug into a carport. AC input. And you got USB charging ports. That's super handy. I like that. Got a battery monitor. It also comes with battery protection. Cooling zone one, cooling zone two, or left and right cooling zones here. Very sturdy, crisp sounding buttons. Max cooling or economy for energy saving. Just show you some measurements here. From the cage bottom to the top, we've got about 14 inches or 14 and a quarter if you want to get super specific. So I would say about 14 inches. Got to leave a little room for that lip. 14 inches deep, 13, about 13 wide. And almost and about 14 long on the refrigerator, on the freezer, same, 14 long. With about 13-ish wide. Mm, about 14 inches down to the cage bottom. In the smaller section here, we got, we got about six and a half, six and a quarter ish deep. Mm, and about six and a half wide. This basket is about five and three quarters wide. There's your energy guide. Which is actually a sticker. So you can put that on the fridge if you want to keep track, uh, you know, keep from losing your information here. Let me double check. Feels like a sticker. Yeah, that's a sticker. That's neat. I've never seen these come like a sticker before, but. Uh, Huge savings with the Iceco Dual Zone Portable Refrigerator. That is a whole lot less than your standard refrigerator, that's for sure. And of course we have a user manual. It's got a picture of the black one. These do come in black if you don't like the olive. Options are always good. It's got some nice, easy to read, large, font, bold lettering, tips for opening the door, got supply details, wire baskets, extra supplies, operation, dimensions, uh, tells you how to switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit, triple battery protection, that's good. Oh, you can even do a single zone mode, that's neat, probably save a little bit of power if you don't need to, you know, if you don't have stuff you need to put in the freezer, etc. Instructions how to clean, error codes. A very well done manual here and of course they got great customer service you ever have any problems just shoot them an email or give them a call nice this is coming off 
nice and clean. This is a little reminder on how to use the handles. I don't need that. Ah, oh, yes, much better. Yeah, it's just telling you how to use the handles. Stick that on there. Um, yeah, they are a little slightly awkward if you're pushing on the top. They won't quite open, so you have to just make sure you push. Just get your fingers in there to the bottom, push in, comes right up. I didn't have any issues with that. They'll seem to they'll seem to be just fine to me. I like them. Let's go ahead and give it a test, and uh, see how well my refrigerator's contents, uh, my current refrigerator's contents, fits in there. Nice heavy duty automotive plug there, I like that. I wonder what that is. Looks like something that flips out. Hmm. Huh. I don't know what that is for. Maybe just to give you a. Uh... I don't know. I'll have to check the manual for that later. So, heavy duty cord for the car, and a nice heavy duty cord for the wall. Wall plug. Open up the AC flap. And uh, let's plug it in. Okay, plugging it in. Just plug it in. Oh, there we go. Got a little power button here. Long press. There we go. Oh, I feel some air current coming out of there. And it is cooling. You hear that compressor going? It's a very quiet compressor. Yeah, I got lots of airflow to keep it cool. So this might be showing the current temperature of these two. Yeah, okay, so that one's set for, let's see, our left zone. That would be the refrigerator. So we don't want that freezing. Let's just do, I guess, 38 where, I think that was where it was at. And this is set at 30. Um, I don't know. The significance of the temperature for freezing. I don't know if you just want to if you just need to keep it below 32 degrees Fahrenheit or if you go ahead and you probably save a little power by not going too low but things might freeze a little quicker if you go extra cold like zero degrees or something but let's just do for the test 30 degrees right now for the freezer that will keep things frozen Oh yeah, look at the lights. That is nice. That is very nice. I love the lights. Makes it handy to get to your food at night. And see what you're doing. Yeah, that is very nice. I like that. Boy, that feels like it's cooling down already. Let's go ahead and take some readings. Looks like 65 right now, so that... Outside control panel is pretty accurate. 63, 65. Probably gets a little different reading just because of uh, the fact that it's a infrared thermometer. And here we have a. Oh, okay, there we go. So that must be where the temperature sensor is for the refrigerator. So that's neat. That's a pretty accurate reading on that control panel. One in the refrigerator. I love the readouts. Right there, 60.8, pretty much 61. But that is very nice. You can just look over and see where your temps are at. 
61 in the refrigerator, 63 in the freezer. This will cool down a whole lot faster if you put some cold food in there. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, in the freezer, we got Hot Pockets. We got some hamburger. Got some Hot Pockets. Those will fit up right there on the shelf. Got a pack of hamburgers, some sirloin. Fits nicely in the basket, or... It'll also fit on the shelf. But, I think that fits. I think it's a little better in there. I love the baskets, that is handy. You pull out all your stuff and get to what you need. Some chicken. Fridge. Veggies, gotta have my veggies. Put that on that side. Cheese, 18, a carton of 18 eggs. Fits in there, no problem. There's so much room in this thing, I love it. Broccoli, carrots, condiments, butter, mayonnaise, sauerkraut, piece of chicken from yesterday, tons of room, I love it. Very cool. I like this. Ice cold. Ice cold refrigerator. Freezer, I mean. Cool refrigerator. Ice cold freezer. Oh, look at this. We got a little uh, temperature chart here for your food. Recommended temperature chart, I see. Oh, here's some trouble codes. That's handy to have a little sticker right inside the lid. Avoid blocking the heat dissipation area when using the fridge. Should be right here. You can feel that air flowing. Don't want to block that. Yeah, this is a neat setup. And I don't have to worry about leaving the doors open. I mean, it's not as efficient to leave the doors open, but it's not like that. This is just letting out all sorts of cold air. And this is not, unless there's an air current in the room or something. But this is just super efficient like this. Organizing things is a little different, but it's worth it. I love this thing. This is a very nice unit. Be sure to check out the link below. IceCoFreezer.com And be sure to stay tuned. We will be installing this in my micro camper truck that I will be sleeping in here soon. Does the light turn off? Yes. Probably got a magnet. This is very, very neat. And that's where we are at uh, after only a couple minutes. Okay, not even 10 minutes later and it shut off. So, it does not take too long to cool things down. That's good. So that left me 27 degrees on the freezer side. It goes a few, goes a few degrees below to allow for fluctuation. Very nice. I like that that doesn't run too long. I'll save power on my batteries when we get everything hooked up. Oh yeah, that's all frosted over. Nice and cold. It's ice cold. Yeah, very nice. That cools down quick. Okay, here we are over at icecofreezer.com. 
Looking at the 79.2 quart VL75 Pro D Olive 12 volt heavy duty metal fridge freezer. It has a C-COP compressor. It is 67 pounds. Cooling range is 0 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. It'll take 12 volt, 24 volt DC or 110 to 240 volt AC. Very, uh, very wide range of input power that you can give this thing. That's pretty handy. I like that. There's your consumption rate. Metal shell. Superb insulation for energy saving. Huge capacity. 79 quarts. And you got a five year warranty. That's very nice. Of course you got these awesome lids that can open in either direction or com can come completely off. Two USB ports, that's really handy. And you got a car port on either side. Interior lighting, removable handles. It is a, a size that is as big as I can handle. And for one guy, that is a good amount of time for food storage. For being able to store food. Magnetic battery, that was cool. Where's that go? How do I go back? I want to see magnetic battery. That is cool. Extra portable, look at that. And of course they have all different sizes for your needs and budget. A 47 quart looks like a mini version of what I got. That looks like a very rugged uh, unit there. I like that. 21 quart, 68.6 quart. Uh, here's a new fridge. Dual zone, 12 volt. Silver, looks fancy. You also got your ultra small ones for space saving needs and uh, good for taking out to the sports game, camping, what have you. Ones with wheels, handles. Here's the black 79.2 quart if you're interested in getting a black one. And it's 15% off right now uh, at the time of filming this video. It may, it, those may or may not still be on sale. Oh, that's a neat little one right there. Look how small that is. I like that. Oh, it's a dual zone too. That's nice. Four pages of refrigerators. Be sure to come over and check them out. They also got outdoor gear. Um, let's see what they got for outdoor gear. Oh, they got some Iceco merch. That looks comfy. I might actually might need to get me one of those later on. Oh yeah, it's even got a pillow. It reclines. Turns into a bed. Oh, look at that. We got a roller drawer for your refrigerators. You can mount your fridge and have them slide out of your truck or your, the back of your SUV. Got some tie, strap tie downs. Set your fridge on there, strap it down. You also got a drawer right here in the middle of it. That's pretty awesome. I like that. Very neat. Very cool. Looks sturdy. Oh, yeah, there you go. Here's a good example of a. Uh, you got your straps. You got your dog. This guy looks like he's pulling out some hot sauce. Yeah, that's a neat looking unit right there. Be sure to check them out, icecovefreezer.com. We got a link below for that 79 cord if you are interested. And stay tuned for the install. I'm going to be making a uh, DIY mount for the back of my truck for when we get out there doing the truck living thing. So stay tuned. Got lots coming up.